What's going on everyone? Gilman with the Vaulty Stocks back with our daily Apple update video, ticker symbol AAPL, where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future, and based on that, what we think Apple stock could do. So real quick, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me go ahead and hit record. We'll get right into the video. Another great green day for Apple, you guys. We are celebrating out here after the month of March where I was making a video of Apple down, down, down. You know, we're finally getting to the Apple that we know and love, the Apple that gives greens on greens on greens. So, great day for Apple. Before we cover that, let's talk a little bit about the market. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, um, the J&J vaccine did get put on pause. CDC paused it due to some blood clot concerns. Um, I know a lot of people myself that got it, so hopefully it's nothing serious. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll uh, see how that goes. We'll follow that. Um, but that actually led to a tech rally. I don't know if it's directly correlated. This article makes it seem like it is. Um, NASDAQ up as tech stocks rise after J&J vaccine plus. I don't necessarily think it's like that. I think, uh, um, you know, the overall kind of, you know, bullish trend of the market remains pretty similar to the, what it, to what it was before. Um, and, you know, we set new all time highs with uh, the S and P. So I don't necessarily think that those two things are correlated. Um, but it's, it's still important to see that, you know, a lot of big tech was doing really nicely today, which actually was really well for the QQQs and the S and P as we'll take a look at later on in the video. Before we get to the price action, what I want to cover real quick is that there is going to be an event on April 20th. It's called Spring Loaded um, from Apple on April 20th, a week from today, where we are expecting to see, um, you know, the lineup. Now, some of this I talked about in the video yesterday, um, including the new line of iPad Pro. Um, but, you know, it's, it's now kind of good that we finally have a little bit of confirmation that there is an event happening next week. So maybe we see a little bit of run into that. I think it's already kind of, you know, doing so. Um, it's going to be an online event, right? There's not going to be in person. Um, the new iPad Pros will be same 11 and 12.9 inch screens. Um, the latest Mac chips, the new mini LED screen, which that's what we talked about yesterday, right? We're expecting some shortages there. Um, and then faster data sync. So um, last quarter, about $8.4 billion in revenue from Apple's iPad. So, um, you know, that's, that's, it's a big deal for Apple, right? Um, iPads and kind of newer iPads, iPads that can be more powerful and compete with, um, you know, computers. So should be a pretty exciting event. Um, I mean, nothing beats the iPhone event, so I'm not even gonna try to compare it to that, but still, you know, something for us to look forward to nonetheless. The other thing we have to look forward to is on 428, we have um, the earnings coming up. So next week we got the this event and the following week we have the um, Apple earnings event. So it should be a pretty eventful two weeks for Apple. Um, as you see here, right, we have been absolutely killing it this past week or so um, with a little pullback yesterday that we called. Um, so great, great push up there. And let's talk about technical levels here. Um, and we'll get right into it. So yesterday, you guys remember I said, hey, we are, you know, maybe going to go down and visit that 130 level. Um, that was kind of the level that I wanted to see hold. But what happened was yesterday we went to the 130.63 and in the pre-market, we actually hit that exact same level, $130.63. And then it was a you know totally different story there. So we pushed up, we came right back down. Um, 131.45 pushed up and right at the opening right you could see we we kind of took a little breather for a few minutes broke above our 132.52 level next stop 133.45 boom hit up against it couldn't go hit up against it couldn't go then we were in between vwap hit it hit it and then you know finally in the second half of the day in the last couple hours of the day we had a massive kind of push up took us from the 133s to the mid 134s and then we kind of flat into the close and closing near the mid 134s so absolutely great price movement from apple you guys this kind of late push really really nicely put us in the green up two and a half percent three dollars and 19 cents compared to the nasdaq nasdaq was up about a percent uh, Dow Jones was down 76 point, which is 0.23%. 
and then S&P was up only 0.3%. So compared to all that, right, we're talking Apple being up 2.4%, which is absolutely crazy. Um, you know, the, the move up it's had in the past week has been unbelievable. The call that you guys know from June that I was holding on to that was down about 40% at one point, break even, I think at some point today, it even went to like two, three or 4% in the green absolutely great to think about the only thing i have kind of right now is um, that covered call that i have at 128 i'm probably going to look to roll it to 129s um, and slowly kind of catch that up i hope that you know i don't lose my apple shares but if i do um you know you can always buy them right back but it's never you know it's never um Never a bad idea to kind of use covered calls as a way to collect premiums. I had been doing so from January through all of March, and then, you know, this run last week happened. Um, so, you know, sometimes you get caught up in that, but overall still, if you can track kind of what you're making with covered calls, um, they can be a great way to make money. Um, so this is what we have here on the daily chart, you guys. We had the breakout. We were looking at the bull pennant broke out from that now pushing up real nice i mean from this low set on 330 right that was on um or yeah on 330 of 120 dollars we're now at 134 take a look at all these green candles um the one thing i will say though is again um and i said this you know kind of when we got that pullback um from friday to yesterday is our rsi is, is looking a little bit high again so we could have we could still have another green day um, that takes us to kind of the RSI from back here, right? Close to the $70 mark. Um, and then we could see a little bit of a pullback or we could even take a little bit of a consolidation day, right? And not really push up and that can kind of settle the RSI down. Um, but yeah, all signs, you know, are kind of pointing to a little bit of a, of a, you know, too much, too quick. So just be mindful of that. I'm not saying sell your Apple shares, wait for the pullback, right? But I am saying, you know, don't just go blindly into calls. It could it could go to all time highs and continue this. And before earnings, we hit all time highs. It could just as easily, you know, come right back down, settle to this 130 level. So just both sides there. Be mindful. What do we have coming up from levels of support, levels of resistance, you guys? Um, first level of uh, support we have down here is this 133 level, 133.45. Then we got 132.52 and then the 131.45 right below that so those are the three levels that i'm looking at on the downside uh, remember yesterday we um you know did kind of get close to that 130 level um 130 60s and then today in the pre-market we also got to that 130 dollar and 60 cent mark so if we if we were to go down that's kind of the point i'd be watching but realistically you know we could see support coming in at any of these points before that on the upside, 136.05 and then 138.43 before we hit the 140 mark. I, again, definitely think we see a pullback before we hit 140. That's my guess. That's kind of where I, you know, I'm not placing any bets, but if I were, it's kind of what I'd say. Um, that being said, I do think, you know, we'll hit that level soon enough, but with the potential of a little bit of a pullback, right? So just be, just be mindful of how much we've gone up, you guys, and just, you know, trade carefully is all I'm going to say. Um, of course, you can still make money and it can keep going up, but because of how kind of extended we are from the eight EMA, that's something that I always like to use as a little bit of a benchmark. Um, you know, it just, just being careful is to me like kind of the better, um, you know, thing to do when we're this extended. So that eight EMA comes in at 129.60. Even if Apple stays flat over the next couple of days, that eight EMA will catch up to where Apple is, um, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, not necessarily that Apple comes down, but it wouldn't surprise me if we kind of go down to the 133s, maybe even some of the lower support levels before we push up to 136. That being said though, um, you know, we could just kind of bounce and hit that, right? I'm not saying we have to kind of drop too much um, and it's still looking strong in the after hours, so who knows? Maybe maybe we keep going up this week. Um, but, you know, like I always say, be mindful of those things. So that's all I had for you guys today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It'll be a really exciting couple of weeks coming up for Apple. Next week, we got the events. The week after, we got earnings. So it should be a fun one. As always, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day, and until next time.